Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are very happy to be here again, and we go further on in jazz history with uh, another set. I, I made this time, I made three sets for from bands 1929 to 1930. So yesterday you heard the uh, quality serenaders from Los Angeles. And today we're going back to New York and we have Joe King Oliver's band, <clears throat> which he uh, composed for a series of recordings. He got a contract from Victor Recording Company in 1929 and he should uh, play a few sides. Some people say, as you have written, he was old and gray and didn't have teeth and couldn't play anymore, but we show you the difference. We have another uh, wonderful King Oliver uh, <clears throat> man with us with good teeth and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he's from Chicago. Andy Shum. <clears throat> And King Oliver uh, was uh, not only seeking for very good studio musicians to, to record these things, he had the best he could uh, use at that time in 1929. He also uh, was looking in his family and he found his nephew, Dave uh, Nelson, Dave Nelson, who wrote most of the arrangements and did a very good job in helping King Oliver if his teeth were a little bit too <laughs> difficult. And that's uh, John Eric's job. Uh, and as you know, King Oliver always had very good trombonists, and these recordings were made with Jimmy Archie, with Fred Robinson, all those guys you know from, from all the other uh, jazz history recordings. Today we have Grey Muse on trombone. Yay. Yay. Uh, we had, uh, of course, always very nice uh, piano players, starting with uh, uh, Lil Hardin, uh, going over to, um, I think, uh, uh, Louis Russell and those guys. And we have today the wonderful David Bonninghouse. Yeah. <laughs> on banjo, I, I'm not so firm on all those uh, banjo virtuosos, but our virtuoso today is Felix Zeno. <clears throat> <laughs> um, on tuba, of course. Now I ex expect a good <laughs> clapping hand from you. Who is it? It's Markham Scared! <laughs> Could you repeat this for Josh Duffy, please? <laughs> so now we are getting in the mood. Jean Francois Bonnet is playing one of those. Bonnet <laughs> and Bernard. Lars Frank just does one of those. Did I forget anybody? No? You. You. What's <laughs> happening? My name is Klaus Jacobi and I made it. Thank you. And we just carry on with a tune which was originally called, it was originally called Shake It and Break It. But we did some research, you did some research in, in some library and you found out it was a prophetic title. It was called Shake It and Brexit. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three.
30 numbers, so we have to hurry up, play everything a little bit faster. But it's so wonderful, lovely music. Next is What You Want Me To Do. And that reminds of King Oliver's hits like Someday Sweetheart with tuba solo and him playing along with muted cornet. Uh, this is What You Want Me To Do, 1929. <coughs> One, two, one. Now a composition by the notorious Dave Nelson, but he was a, not only a good uh, trumpet player, he was always very good in arranging things and really uh, hot arrangements. This one is from the club where they played, the Rhythm Club Stump. <coughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Next is another ballad, a slow, sweet number. Uh, these sweet numbers were all composed by uh, King Oliver himself. And this is called, Can I Tell You? He was always involved in his mistresses, and so we, we play another song for one of them, you know. All, they all had names, of course. But maybe he asked the last one, can I tell you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, with the next title, we have the answer of the question, can I tell you about Edna? Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four.
We we'll go on with this love story, and the next one is called Edna. I can't stop loving you. <laughs> It's a whole biography. <laughs> it's a medical issue. Isn't it? <laughs> I want to. Want to. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Next composition is by Dave Nelson, and he wrote his own Nelson stump. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. And now we come to an exotic piece, uh, one of the earliest recordings of Hawaiian guitar. And we have our guest, Martin Wheatley, on stage with his steel guitar. Oh, there's even a seat. Yeah, there's a seat and a microphone. And he's going to play for us. Everybody does it in Hawaii. <coughs> Just a minute. <laughs> he needs his Hawaiian shirt, he forgot it. <laughs> oh, he's not saying anything. But some pickings for the fingers. So we've got to start. One, two, one, two, three, four. Relationships or uh, any madness, I don't know. It's called Struggle Buggy. Can anybody translate it for me to German? A car that have a lot of trouble. Oh, a, a car with a lot of trouble. Struggle Buggy. All right. From the May, 22nd May, 1930. You start, David. A one, two, a one, two, three, four.
Thanks a lot. The next tune is famous because it's uh, told that, yeah, you know, uh, King Oliver was uh, had a sweet tooth and always uh, chewing uh, not gums but sweeties, and he ruined his teeth, and he he died of that. Actually, he died of a sepsis by uh, infected teeth. Um, <clears throat> but this was only eight years later. We go back to 1929, and this one is really uh, uh, been told as a story of his solo. In the last chorus, you hear the famous King Oliver uh, break and his solo of this tune, and this will be played by John Eric in perfect form. I, I heard him <laughs> do that. He's got no. He's got good teeth, yes. But, but Oliver is, is, uh, is known as, he, he tried to rehearse this solo all the time and his tooth were aching. He, he broke out in tears for, for pain, you know. We don't want this. We want John Eric to be happy today. So we play Too Late. <coughs>
John Eric Kelso, wonderful. And Graham on trombone. David and my dear friend Jean Francois on tenor. Perfect. Now then, the next slow number again is called I Must Have It. A girl, I don't know what he meant by that. Composition by King Oliver himself. <coughs> Good in time. Two more numbers to go. The first one is called Boogie Woogie. It's another difficult car, I suppose. <laughs> Hard to drive. Hard to drive. <laughs> it's not a real Boogie Woogie, but it's called <coughs>
So, once again, thanks to the band David Bowers, Boring House, <laughs> Philip Vigo, <laughs> Malcolm Scott, Josh Sheffy, Ryan Yu, Don Ericardo, our original Teethful, Teethful. <laughs> <coughs> Andy, Andy, show me that. Show your teeth. Yes. And please keep them. <laughs> Jean-Francois Bonnet, last one, and myself. We say thank you very much, and we do one last number, the mule, the mule face. <clears throat> one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
Thank you very much.